Okay, so you're going to want to listen up to this Create Your Clarity drop. Okay, so this is a clip that I recorded a while back on helping my clients to feel more confident in saying how much it costs for people to work with them. The reason why I am sharing this with you is what I have found is that a lot of my clients do not realize the time and their own money of investment that it's taking them to get to where they are now to be asking for someone to pay for their services, right? And a lot of us have what we think we have done to get here. And for many of us, we think this is so easy what we do that it kind of makes us feel like, are we taking people's money to do this thing that comes so easy to us? And one of the biggest things that creates clarity and confidence in showing up for your business and for yourself and to sell is to create awareness around what you have done, how you've done it, and how much time and energy it has cost you in order to bring what you're bringing to the table today. So grab a sheet of paper and walk with me through this clip so that you can use this exercise to give you more confidence The next time you're thinking about lowering your prices, increasing your prices, changing your offers, or posting content about what you charge for these things, or sharing a testimonial because of the results of the time and effort and investment you have made, so you don't feel guilty about talking about these things. So stay tuned. Okay, so what you're going to need for this exercise is one, a blank sheet of paper, like an eight by 11. And the next thing you're gonna need is a pen. So if you're an absolute like digital lover, I want you to open up a doc and a word blank doc and put in the um, font being Arial and at font size 14. So this exercise is really designed for you to have more awareness of how much time and effort it's actually taking you and investment to get to where you are. Oftentimes we wrap our pricing around what we believe that one, we might pay for something or two, we believe that it needs to be lower in order to attract more people. Here's what I have found to be true. We first have to start in belief that what we have done up until now is the thing that is valuable. Whether it's a dollar or a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars, it is about first your belief and putting that number on. If you're questioning even a dollar, it doesn't matter if the price is a hundred thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. And You're never going to get to that point unless you are confident in the time and effort it's taking you and the investment energetically it's taking you to get to where you are today. So this sheet is something that I learned from another coach just in general um, on like having more confidence in myself. And what I have found is doing this exercise is like with my clients, my photographers, my graphic designers, my coaches, is them seeing how much time and effort it actually has taken them to get to the point where they can offer their products or services to their clients and then how much it actually costs them to be here. So on that one sheet of paper, only on one front sheet of paper, I want you to write every single thing you can think of that has led you or added to or um, cost you time and effort to grow your your craft, your art, your ability to learn. So if this were me and I were doing this exercise, I have tons of experience. I went to college for a short period of time, but I learned a lot. Every job that I've ever had has required marketing, brainstorming, creativity. I have gone to school for certifications for this and that. I list all of those things that you have. So certifications, little mini courses you've invested in, things you took in high school and elementary, like the things that have crafted a part of your story of who you are and how you're bringing that to the world. Maybe you've never had formal training on something, 
but you've had a hobby that you are just so passionate and you've invested time and effort in learning about it and you've gotten better over the years, write that down. And then for all of you who have a business and have been having a business for a minute, I want you to take some time to write down how much time investment has it taken you to grow your business from where it is. So if it were me, I would be writing down like it's how much did it cost me to get my business started? Any certifications I've taken, any coaching or training I've done for personal development, any tools in my business that I need to continually um, update or use in my business, anything that you feel like energetically, financially, and mentally has taken you or is a part of you coming today to deliver the product or service and then put a dollar amount and an hour amount next to it. It doesn't have to be like set in stone of what it is. You don't have to be like very, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't have to be very accurate. It just needs to, you need to put down what you think it cost you. How much time did it cost you? How much money did it cost you? If you went to school, write down how much money. If you have school loans and you're still paying that, write that down. If you've taken certifications, if you've bought many courses or lead magnets, or you've read books even, write the cost of money and time that it's taking you. And then in one column, so you're writing all of this in one sheet of paper. So you're going to have one sheet of paper and you're writing all of the things. And next to you, you're going to have two columns. So we're looking at three columns. So one column is all of the things that we're talking about, your experiences, your education, your training, your natural talents that you have developed over the years, all of that on the left side. And then on the middle of that sheet of paper, write how much time you believe you've invested in all of those things, right? And then on the last column, which is the last line of the paper, I want you to write how much money it may have taken you if you didn't have to pay for it, if you actually paid for the training for that. And if you did pay for the training, like you bought the book, you bought the class, you bought the certification, you went to school, all of that, write all of that down. And then tally up your time and your money of how much time and money you've invested. And when you look at your prices, tell me how you feel. Nine times out of 10, when my clients look at this, They don't even realize how much effort and time that they've actually put into doing the thing that they do and why they continue to get paid for it at any number is because they are good at it. They love it. They excel at it. But the problem is a confidence piece and an awareness piece of knowing, hey, I could charge more. Maybe you're not going to charge $2,000 more tomorrow, but you might charge $200 more tomorrow. Because you have an awareness around how much time and effort you've actually invested in doing this thing that you love. So do this exercise. I love to hear your feedback. And if you have like most of my clients who like look back and go, sheesh, I didn't realize that. And most of my clients within the first 60 to 90 days were changing their prices. They're, they're in, they're like encouraged and confident in changing their prices because they realize Hey, this is a way I can grow my business by just changing my prices. And what also happens from that is that they work less. Work less. I have one photographer right now who is a client who over the last year, we really worked on the mindset around pricing. And she has booked more weddings at her higher ticket price and is booking less, but making more than she ever has. And she is fully confident fully confident. So what could this look like for you? So now that you've seen basically how much time and energy you have invested in yourself, in your business, I also want you to think about the results you've created in your life and the results you've created for clients, whether they've paid you or not. Maybe they're a friend, a sister, maybe there are, you know, people that you went to school with that you did things for, whether you worked for someone in a nine to five and you created results for them, think about all of those things. Combine everything you just wrote on that sheet of paper and add your own personal results as well as the results you've given to others. And does this awareness help you increase your confidence to show up 
and say, the cost of working with me is $3,500. How does that sound, right? How does that sound? Say the number that you've been wanting to say. Say whatever it is that's going on in your head that now has more groundedness in your own personal awareness of like brass tacks. You see it on a piece of paper, on a digital document of all of this time and effort. This is not just something you one day decided, oh, this is what I'm doing. No, this is taking you years. And when you use this tool, the confidence card, this is what I call it, you'll feel more confident in your business in your life to show up and create that post, to show up and talk about that sales call, to show up and talk about your offers, your testimonials, and not hide behind worry and not really knowing what it is that you bring to the table. The confidence card is one of the many tools that I use inside of my Real You framework, where my clients are using in order to create so much more ease to show up in their business and to work less. And if that is something that you want to do, you want to make $100,000 over and over with ease. If you want to launch a podcast without worrying about how is anybody going to care about what I'm going to say, I want you to go to the link in this show and the show notes and book a sales call. In that sales call, we just have a lovely conversation where I ask you a lot of questions about your business. It's probably one of the only places where you'll feel truly seen and heard and be able to voice out your business problems uniquely to you and get a plan specifically to help you in your unique circumstances, including living with chronic illness. So go to the link in the show notes and book the call. And I'm here to help you make a confident yes or confident no. Either way, you will walk away feeling absolutely more clear and confident in what steps you need to take in order to grow your business to the next level. All right, as always, know that you are crafted to thrive.